Welcome back to Logan Toxic and a very special episode. I'm gonna show my complete Arrow Video Blu-ray collection and I have a couple of their DVDs. Um, so if you don't know about Arrow Video, they're the, probably the best independent film distributor. Uh, they release the, the, most, the most fantastic Blu-rays on the market today. Uh, they specialize in cult movies, gay westerns, uh, Japanese noir. So they're, they're, there's a big variety of films that they release. Um, and here is my collection. So, all right, so let's get to it. So first up, let's go to the steel books. I got, looks like I got four of the Arrow Video steel books. Uh, the first one is Rabid, uh, directed by David Cronenberg, awesome release. Then after that, we got White of the Eye, awesome cover art for this one, awesome steel book. I love the blood splatter painting there. Then we got The Long Good Friday. What a what a surprise this movie was. This is one of the best gangster movies I've ever seen. Utterly fantastic. Highly recommend this one. Then we got another fantastic uh, Mario Bava movie, The Blood and Black Lace. Look at this seal book. It's fantastic. Utterly fantastic. Awesome movie as well. And we got the Necromantic movies. I think these are sold out. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think they're out of print. But these are fantastic releases. Look, there's a lot of love and care that goes into these releases. So, man, look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Then we got the second one. You gotta love them. You gotta love these. These. Uh, these are all limited edition too, I believe. I don't know if it's two thousand. Yeah, I think it's two thousand or three thousand released. But yeah, fantastic. And then we got the great video drum. This is probably their one of their best releases. It's hard to pick which one, which one's their best release because all of them are like superb releases. But yeah, look at that. A bunch of the sh bunch of the Kronberg's other mo like earlier works are in this one, and yeah, this is a, a great release. I love the movie too, video drum. Then we got the Straight Cat Rock series about like juvenile and delinquent girls um, in the seventies in Japan. Really cool, really cool set to have. And we got the Black Cats, another fantastic release. Uh, we got a Lucio Fulci one, and then another Giallo film, both really good. And yeah, pretty solid. Got comes with a little booklet there. Uh, yeah, I love the cover art too. Next is uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two. I mean, look, I mean, look at this. This movie's kind of obscure. I mean, it's not wasn't that popular, but look at the. The love and care they gave it. And yeah, the the transfer deck actually really good in this as well. But yeah, there's tons of stuff on here. Really great release. Next, next is one of my all-time favorite releases by them. The Six Gothic Tales by with Vincent Price by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, directed by Roger Corman. Let's see if it doesn't fall here. Gotta take it slowly, take this out. I believe this is out of print. But look at all these fantastic movies in this. We got that, that really cool booklet there, the six Gothic Tales. They got The Raven, Tales of Terror, The Pet and the Pendulum, The Haunted Palace, which is one of my personal favorites. Follow, follow the House of Usher, another personal favorite, and The Tomb of Ligia. So, all Vincent Price, all awesome. We'll put that down over there. Then we got Koyon, It's Quatsi, and Poya Quatsi, another awesome release. I was actually I was actually quite blown away by these movies, personally. Then we got some of the Arrow Academy stuff here. Uh, the Train. Of course, we got Bicycle Thieves. Awesome. And the, the transfer on this looked gorgeous. It was it was beautiful black and white. It looked pristine. So, yeah. Then we got Miracle Malong. Another uh, DC Sika film. He's the same guy who did uh, Bicycle Thieves. Uh, then we got Three Women. It's like the classic... Uh, Mulholland Drive type movie, pretty good. So I found three more that are Arrow Academy um, that I put in my film noir section. So I had to throw these in real quick, which is uh, The Killing, fantastic. Then we got Naked City, a very good hard boiled noir, and Thieves Highway, probably the best film noir I've never heard of or seen before. It's fantastic. So there's a quick three more that I had that I'm just kind of looking at my collection, but like hey, there's some more I don't I I misplaced. So there you go. And got a couple of Bava movies here. Uh, as you can tell, I have no like order here. I just kind of threw them all together real quick. But we got Kidnapped, or 
so it's called Rabbit Dogs as well. I don't, I don't remember which one's the American release, but yeah, it has two different cuts of the movie. Uh, it's Mario Bava's last film, actually, so it's pretty good. Then we got one of his first films, is The Girl Who Knew Too Much. This movie is kind of started the whole Jalo films, so like the murder mysteries. So pretty solid. Then we got a couple newer movies that I haven't, I haven't talked about yet. Um, that'll be talked about in my next collection update. But we got Prey of Death. I haven't seen these yet either, so I'm looking forward to it. And the Mutilator, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Because of the really cool slipcover there. Then obviously this badass American Horror Project Volume 1. So hopefully there's more volumes that are coming out. And that includes Carnival of Blood, The Premonition, and The Witch Who Came From The Sea. Can't wait to check those bad boys out. The, that'll be in my next collection update video. Let's go down here. Um, awesome release of Society. I, I've never seen this movie before, but this movie was utterly fantastic. It, it was fun, gory. It was a great 80s horror movie, for sure. Then we got Retaliation. Awesome release. Masker Gun. Another one that kind of go together. Uh, Blind Woman's Curse. Another one that kind of goes with it. Pit Stop. Really, really fun movie right here. It's Pit Stop. Yeah, Spider Baby is is fa utterly fantastic. It's like, it's like, it, it's so weird, oddball, uh, craziness. I, it's it's really hard to explain. It's directed by Jack Hill, I believe, who did like the Coffee and um, another Pam Grier movie, uh, Foxy Brown. But yeah, really, if if you're into like classic horror movies, definitely check out Spider Baby. And speaking of Coffee, we got Coffee, awesome release here. I love this movie. This is like the the godmother of the black exploitation movies for sure. We got Milano Cabro 9. Pretty good gangster film. Mona Lisa. Another pretty good gangster film. Pet in the Pendulum. Yeah, I got another copy because I had to get that by the six gothic tales. So I got an extra copy of that. Brian and the Kill. Awesome movie. Remo, I think it's pronounced. I love this film. It was awesome. It was a blast to watch. Uh, the Beast Within, a great 80s horror uh, monster movie. Uh, it's from the same uh, writer who wrote or wrote and directed the Fright Night movie. Uh, I forgot his name, but he wrote that this movie as well. They got another one, Theater of Blood, another Vincent Price movie. And all these transfers look amazing, by the way. They're, I have not had a problem yet with any of the Arrow video stuff. And this is kind of like one of those, uh, how do you describe it, like soft porn, but not porn. Uh, art, artsy movies, uh, Immoral Tales. This one was pretty good. La Grande Buffet. It's pretty, uh, pretty artsy as well, actually. And I believe this is The Beast, but that's La Bat Bit. I don't know. Pretty good. Mad Man was fantastic. I had a blast with Mad Man. Another 80s horror slasher kind of thing. And we got Day of Anger. I, this is probably the best Big Western outside of the Dollar tri Dollar uh, trilogy. Um, I, I this first time I saw it was the, the Arrow video release and it was it looked great It was a great spaghetti western. The soundtrack was amazing If you love if you like the dollar trilogy, you'll like this movie this and like uh, the, the first Django movie they were like really good uh, spaghetti westerns outside of the dollar trilogy Then we got Frankenhooker awesome. It's from the same director who did basket case movies Are really fantastic and then rollerball this movie really surprised me how good it was it's like Aurelian. Uh, they're like the sports and they kill each other. It's really cool. And this movie blew me away. Nightmare City blew me away. I never seen it before either until they released it. And yeah, it's kind of remind. It's like uh, the new uh, Grindhouse movie. It's not new, but uh, the one directed by Robert Rodriguez, Plant Planet Terror. Uh, yeah, that that was kind of an ode to this movie. So and this is one of your latest releases, Blood Rage. Fantastic. Comes with a slipcover. Um, only a few come with slipcovers, so it's kind of cool when you get them. Uh, yeah, a Thanksgiving slasher, very low budget, but, but, but fun. Then this one's kind of fun too, Contamination. It was very super cheesy, but man, this soundtrack was a blast. It was so fun. Uh, the soundtrack is Goblin, I believe. Goblin did a lot of the Italian horror soundtracks. And yeah, awesome release. Another fun one was The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. Bon um, this one, there's not a Blu ray release in North America, so you gotta get that copy. Then we got the stuff. Although look at that cover art. The cover art is freaking beautiful. I mean that's like that's beautiful. Then we got another gay western, Requisent or what Requiscant, I don't know. Um, another really cool gay western. Then we got the honeymoon killers. 
uh, classic, classic, like, I don't know, thriller, I guess. Another black exploitation of one of the recent releases, Sheba Baby, Pam Greer, fantastic. Uh, Eating Alive, this one was a lot of, a lot of fun. With uh, it's directed by Toby Hooper, the guy who detects Chainsaw Massacre, and Robert Englund's in this movie, so it was a really, really good time. And Red Scorpion, good lord, this movie was freaking badass. Great 80s actions, great all around. Then we got not 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 God, I always I always screw up this name. Uh, Nakatsu Diamond Guys, uh, three films. Voice Level Shadow, Red Pier, and The Rambling Guitarist. Rambling Guitarist is my personal favorite of all the three. Pretty good, though. And their Jalo here is What Have You Done in Solange. This is like a popper one. This is like one of their famous uh, Jalo. So if you're interested in that genre, which is like uh, killers that wear black layer gloves and it's basically a murder mystery till the end, definitely check out this one. We got Wake Up and Kill, a fun kind of like true to life story about a, a modern day Bonnie and Clyde in Italy. And one of their classic releases is uh, Zombie Flesh Ears, directed by Lucio Fulci, or known as Zombie or Zombie 2 in uh, North America. Fantastic release. This is one of their first Blu-ray releases, I believe. It's great. Uh, same with these. this one. I think Black Sabbath. Yeah, fantastic. This is an anthology by Mario Bava. This is probably his. This is probably my favorite movie of his. Um, this is probably his most famous between this and Black Sunday. Um, so there's that. And then we got... Of course, Delta Force. If, if you have to get Delta Force, get this one. Don't go to Walmart and buy like the cheap $5 version. Because I, I need myself loaded. But I mean, this thing is loaded though. Like, it comes with all these special features and it talks a bunch about Canon films, so you gotta love that. And a really cool, like, hammer film, The Hound of Baskervilles, with Pierre Cushing and Christopher Lee. It's probably the best interpretation of that, of that story. And I got a couple of Dario Argento films that are freaking fantastic. This is my favorite horror movie of all time. It's phenomenal. If you have never seen it, definitely check it out. And definitely check out the Arrow video version, because I don't think there's a Blu-ray release of it in North America. It's utterly fantastic, though. They got Tenebrae, another great re release. Um, another Dario Argento great release. Uh, Inferno, fantastic. This is fantastic. Well, all these releases are fantastic, really. And we got Shivers. Look at that cover art. Freaking, freaking awesome. And uh, one of the later, latest ones I reviewed the year was $5 for an August Mood. A lot of fun. It's another Mario Bava kind of Jalo type film. And here's some of the DVDs I got. I, I, I haven't really, I only watched one of them. Actually, I don't think I got, I don't think I've seen any of these yet. Um, Two Evil Eyes, the Car Player, Dario Argento. Uh, Delhi Outlaw Rika. It's by you know Takashi Miki or whatever. So that's why I picked that up. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I've seen this one, Terror at the Opera. This is a pretty good our gentle film. So there you go. There's been my old video collection. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. You'll get more like it. And uh, comment below what air videos you have. And yeah, is there any that you're interested in picking up or seeing? So just let me know in the comment section below. Alright, catch you cats later. Peace y'all.